This video is brought to you by Chandana, Malaysia's umbrella body for the cultural and creative economy, connecting creators, regulating bodies, private businesses, policymakers, and consumers, nurturing these entities individually while keeping a collective goal. For more information, do check out the links in the description below. So maybe that's the next step to take it to other platforms to diversify and really just to make it a little more accessible. But two great points there. One is the fact that dance is really transient. Mm -hmm. When you leave the theater, it stays in the memory. It's unlike music where you can you know, utilize things like Spotify or SoundCloud or YouTube. You just kind of listen to it when you're driving. And also visual arts being an end product, dance is always a work in progress, right? Mm. Always a work always. in progress. So I really like <laughs> the fact that maybe on social media, because it's really about the modes of attention and you're on social media, on your mobile, you're watching, you're really paying attention to all the feet. So maybe that's why dance can really survive there because people are always very committed to that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think also a bit of, it's cool to have it in the sense of the way I've done it. And I think if you're focused also too on the, like, as you were saying, it's, it's ongoing. Like if you don't look at it as an end product and more just as it keeps going and keeps going, it's, it's very intriguing because it keeps people interested as like, well, where is this going? I don't know. It's just going, it just keeps going and going and going. It's not like a, okay. I mean, I guess in the sense of if you go to a theater, there is an end product that is that, but if you use, I mean, I've seen many other people posting their own movement on, on social media as well. And, and it's cool because it's not like they're trying to like create or choreograph something. They're just kind of doing their own thing. And there's not really an end goal. It's just to, just to dance and just to move and share it. Yep. I, I really like to maybe reference different art forms as well because I think every single art form has their own parameters. It's really how people consume these art forms. What needs to be done like dance, if it becomes an end product, would people still enjoy it as much, right? Like this is something that I always mm -hmm. wonder. I don't think they would. I certainly wouldn't. And that's what also really drew me to your work is that it's really always ethereal. It's in the air. You never really know where it's going to go, but you know it's going somewhere. And that's what really draws people in. And that's really part of being a journalist. Like you're really having this journey on your own. You're setting out on this pathway sort of traversing across different landscapes. And one one of your entries I was really fascinated by as well was a little collage that you made. And the person involved was named Chloe. It was a falling <laughs> entry where every single time she had to enter the stage, she was falling, she was falling, she was falling. She was falling. <laughs> and you made this little funny collage of yeah. it. And I was like, oh my gosh, like you, you've been a journalist your whole life because those... That was that was the earlier entry, right? It was even before yeah. it was called Movement Journey. It was just your journey in the Kibbutz Dance Company. And I found that so interesting. I was like, wow, maybe this was already in you. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> You're already a journalist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I guess it maybe was something in there. I've always been a very, like, kind of artsy, creative kind of mind. Even as a kid, I was, you know, I could spend all day just by myself, like, in my room, like just doing creative things. I'm like, I don't really know what I was doing, but just creative, whatever. And my imagination was crazy. But uh, yeah, I guess I, I didn't, because I mean, this was, I would, had no idea about a movement journal or anything. But yeah, I do like, uh, like whenever I, I think that specifically, whenever I did post something, it, it had to not just be for nothing it, it was like something interesting at least um but yeah i remember this post it was actually her birthday and this was actually a piece i was creating and at the very her entrance into the stage for the start of the piece was her falling <laughs> and so as i was creating the piece that would yeah. record you know rehearsals and i ended up having quite a few videos of her falling i guess 